watching Notes and Nine. Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy. Episode 137, X Pages and Web Services at your web service. Okay, I'm, uh, I've got a brand new contributor today that I'm really excited about. I've been trying to get him on for a while now. And his name is Frederick Norling. Uh, and he's an X-Pages developer and two-time IBM champion. And uh, I know him you know, really well. You probably do too on, on Twitter. He's all over there at, at, at X-Page Developer. He works for QNova. And they do uh, some uh, some cloud solutions. And they have an application suite. And his his blog is at www.xpagedeveloper.com. And uh, he's he's just all over the X Pages world. So he's a he's a really talented guy. And he's going to come on and show share with us some information about using X Pages and web services uh, that that I th I thought was really cool. Um, now in the demo, he's he uses a demo database. And, and he uses this agent called Get Design that basically helps build what you need to do uh, for the for the web services and next page integration, which I think is really clever. So this database, he said he's going to post on his blog and probably put the, the agent code on as an X snippet to OpenNTF and also put the demo database itself on OpenNTF. So once he does that, I'll, I'll add uh, links to the show notes uh, to try to point you at that as well. Um, so you will need to find that uh, to use the the demo uh, because the, the agent isn't isn't really shown because that's just kind of a tool. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go to the demo and look at web services. Hello everybody, Frederick here from xpagedeveloper.com. Today we are going to talk about web services and the missing part, if you ask me. Web services in Domino has been quite difficult because you haven't had any GUI import options within Domino. But what I'm going to show you is how to use the built-in web service consumer within XPages. Wait, you might say. Uh, this, this doesn't work because they are different G GVMs. Yes, I know. And I'm going to show you how to use them in a very easy and simple way. What we have is that we have a web service consumer. In this case, we have currency, stock, and weather. These are some basic web services that you will get within this sample database. What you need to do is import the web service in Java, because Java is the common thing between old notes and X pages. So import it as Java. And also, they need to be in a package, otherwise this won't work. So you press new web service, you select a name, you write Java, you paste the URL to your web service BSDL file, and cl click OK. The web service is created. The magic thing here is that I've written an agent for you, get design. You run this agent. You write the path, and in this case, it has an exported the three web services. You go to jars, you import the web services that I've newly exported. You have two jars files, one for the code and one for uh, the settings for the, the web service. In my case, to get simple type ahead. I have created a Java file for each of these functions. So let's go in and check. Very simple Java file. I've created the function as static because I don't store anything within it. The thing that you need to check for when using these web services is within these packages you will have one class that is called locator. This class is the way to locate the web service. You create the locator class, you get some kind of binding to that locator class. In this case, it was the get, get basic HTTP binding. 
it could be different names for these because in these they're called get basic HTTP binding but in the weather class it's called get weather soap so soap HTTP something with where you're getting this class so lo dot no lo dot and move down and you will see in this case soap and URL and address oh this is the class because it originates from the weather locator and you will get some other class below that very simple in this case I've created a simple class to get the weather in my own package and I will create an three X pages nothing special about them have a button that will open up let's see and in the event I import my package and in this case currency get currency and I send in a view scope and in this case the view scope is bound to this field let's move over and check our our web services in this case all right 100 us dollars and how much swedish krona do i get for them oh 643 and we can do stocks ibm click on label and we get the last course that they were sold for and let's check weather and because i don't know weather or the zip code i will copy a zip code here and paste the zip code to see what the weather is in california los angeles cloudy 54 degrees fahrenheit all these functions is retrieved through web services through the server and they are retrieved in this so we are actually not using these web service consumers we have we let this one create the code the java code and then we export the jar files and and use these so if you would change the web service consumer that wouldn't affect the web service consumers that we have in x pages so the this is only a setup phase to generate the code you, you should also know that it, this doesn't work in xpink but the, the positive part is that it doesn't require any java policy changes or basically nothing else just use them and you can connect to web service provider if you create a provider in in domino you could access that you can access uh, a web service provider from a microsoft server or a java server no problem and you can also use https but that is a different uh, thing how to set that up and uh, if you would like to know that please feel free to contact me or i will probably make a new video on how to connect to HTTP servers. That was all for me and hope you enjoyed this fast quick demo and I should add one thing. This is of course not supported by IBM but I tested it back as 852 or 853 and, and it works there too so I think that as long as we have web service consumers that works the way they do now in old nodes then this will work but of course I can't give you any guarantees but hopefully and uh, thank you for listening and feel free to contact me on xpagedeveloper.com or at uh, through twitter xpagedeveloper and hope you enjoy this show thank you bye bye and that's the demo, and I, I really do thank Frederick for coming on. Uh, he did a great job, and I, I hope he, he wants to come on again. And if you have any questions for me, here's my information, and I thank you for your time.